All right, page uh, whatever, 712, that's what we're on. This is the story of how Ami is not the brightest bulb in the pack. Because she goes and says, oh, Derek, I'm gonna race you. You can start at the 12-yard line. Yeah, and she knows that she's faster. She can go six yards. Well, her numbers go six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. His, because she let him have 12 yards to start, his go up by five, 12, 17, 22, 27, 32, 37. Guess what? After five seconds, he's beating her. What were they racing to, though? Maybe not. Let's see. Complete the first with David's WBA. Write three order pairs. Graph the order pairs you wrote. Connect them with a line. Extend each line to the 80 to find out who wins. Oh, it's an 80-yard race. I think she's going to win. So, anyway, your graph should look something like this. Let's go 5, 10, 15... And let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Uh, all right, so we're supposed to do that with three ordered pairs. So let's go 0, 0 for her, uh, 2, 12. So 2 would be about there, and 12 would be about there. And then let's do the last one, 5, 30. So 5 and 30. So with my straight edge, well, uh-oh, I gotta keep going. So crosses the 80. Let's say that's the 80, okay? All right, now we get Derek. 0, 12. So no time here. We go up 12. That's a dot right there. Then we go to 2, 22. That'd be like 2 and 22. Four, let's, oh wait, let's just do the end. Five, 37, five. There's 30, so there's five. 37 would be like that, maybe. So then I'm gonna go like this. I'm crossing. Keep going, keep going until they're the 80, yep. So, they both end up at the 80, but his time is further over, so he's going to lose the 80-yard race. What else do they want to know? Yeah, you got your three. Who wins? If it's an 80-yarder, Ami does. All right. He should have said, sure, I'll race you in anything less than about a 10, 20, 30, 40, anything less than a 50. If he raced her in a 50, he'd have won. But after all, it wasn't Ami, but Derek, who wasn't the brightest bulb in the pack. Okay. And let's do a little stuff at the bottom. Write an equivalent problem. 68 divided by 0.5. You can't do 0.5. You can't have the little decimals there. So you got to move it over one, which means you got to move this over one. Wait, where is it? It's right there. When you move it over one, that's like adding a zero. So 680 divided by five. All right. Well, I'm just going to do 680 divided by 10, which is 68. And since I'm dividing it by something half as big, it should be twice. That should be, oh yeah, 120, 136. Yeah, if you don't know how to do, do all that that I just did, then do that. And you'd still get 136, wouldn't you? 100, 500, 180, okay, 30, 150, 36. Yep, 136. All right, last one. Let's do this thing, people. Get it. 7.92. Oh, this is annoying. 7.92 divided by 0 0.22. This time you gotta go one, two. Meow. One, two. So we end up with 792 divided by 22. No one in life is gonna ever, except everyday math, expect you to divide by 22. Come on, come on, people. I hate when they do this, okay. But I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna play ball. All right, let's get serious here. All right, how many 22s fit into 79? Three of them, so that's covering one digit, so 30. That'd be three times to be 66, plus a zero, two, three, one. How many did that fit into that? I don't know. Get that. Oh, I believe it comes out evenly. Six. Six times 20 
is 120. 6 times 12, 2 is 12. Put 120 and 12 together, 132. The answer is 36. Drop the eraser. That's it for math. Go away now and go do something else.